bienvenidos, welcome back. Soy Silvia y hoy les tengo una receta muy fácil. Aquí en los Estados Unidos tenemos un evento muy grande para todos los futbolistas. En ese día que ya viene pronto, se junta la familia y los amigos que les gusta el fútbol y es el fútbol americano. Les voy a dar una receta que a mí me gusta, es súper fácil, así como nos gusta todo aquí en Abuela's Kitchen y hay una razón por qué nos gusta todo súper fácil. Es que nos desesperamos. Queremos todo rápido. Y hoy les tengo un guacamole muy delicioso y simple para hacer. Y yo sé que Abuela's Kitchen no es nada sin abuela porque ella trae ese sabor auténtico. Y también Abuela's Kitchen no es sin mi mamá porque ella trae ese mix más moderno. Y bueno, Abuela's Kitchen tampoco es sin su servidora, yo, Silvia, porque yo soy la productora desde el principio hasta el fin del video. Y Abuela's Kitchen tampoco es sin mi hija, aunque casi no la miran, pero estos videos son para ella, para que continúe nuestra cultura para cuando esté grande ella pueda reproducir todas las recetas auténticas desde su bisabuela. Así es que por eso hago este canal. Muchas gracias por sintonizarnos y todos los que están con nosotros. Déjenos un comentario abajo si quieren saber más información de lo que sea. Bueno, aquí les va esta receta súper fácil. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it all around. The next part is pretty easy and self-explanatory. You take your avocado and you just scoop it all out. Bam! Just make sure you don't break your expensive clay pottery. You want to make sure you get it all out because this right here is gold. <laughs> Okay, well, I haven't mastered my abuela's unmistakable way of chopping. So I pre-chopped everything and I have one small tomato here. And I like everything to be chopped very fine. This tomato doesn't look really fine, but eh, it's good enough. All right, so I have a little bit of onion and it's just personal preference how much you like tasting the onion in your guacamole. And I also finely chopped that, well, I think. And I have a little bit of chile serrano and this is just personal preference. Uh, just depends how spicy you want it, or if you don't want it spicy at all, well, just don't add this part. I have some salt and lime. Yes, I'm gonna use lime. You can use lemon, it's just personal preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this up, and I'm just gonna dump everything in there. There's my tomato, here's my onion. Whoa, I think that's a little too much for my preference, but oh well. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of the serrano some salt, I think that's good enough. And I'm going to squeeze some lime in here. And that's pretty much it. And now you just mix it all good together. I like mine chunky, so I don't really like like blending it and all that stuff. I love to see all these colors in my guacamole. There comes a time where I do like the very liquidy kind because, you know, sometimes your tacos just need to be that way. But this is how I really, really, really like my guacamole. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this off camera. Let me see. Mm. I think it needs a little more lime juice. Yeah, I like mine like this. And I think it should be perfection at this point. I wanna show you guys a little trick my mom taught me. You want all those extra comments about your guacamole. So what it is, is you take your homemade salsa and this is a salsa that my mom brought me and hers are always delicious. 
you add it in your guac, and people will be talking about your guac for days. Honestly, you can never go wrong with this. You don't have to add the salsa. It's just a little side note for those who want to try something different. But either way, this guacamole is delicious. All right, so here is the delicious guac. Mm, guacamole bien delicioso. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner for my little family. We're gonna make some tacos de carne asada. And of course, we're gonna spread this guacamole on there like it was Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.